Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, and it's a long one, there is a lot of fish catching in this video. I'm going to go fishing with live bait for stripers, hybrids, and spotted bass on Lake Norman in North Carolina. Folks, this video takes place in the middle of May, and you would think that in the middle of May it's going to be nice and warm and just spring-like. Well, not on this trip. It was chilly. It was really, really chilly. And you can tell by the way we're dressed. Uh, we were cold that morning, and uh, it was a weird year all around between temperatures, rainfall, and everything else. But we knew the fish were biting, so we decided to get out there early uh, before the sun got up and see if we could put some stripers and hybrids in the boat. Who's up, Jack? Just got here. You gotta run oh, crap. Out. I'm gonna say, let him run on down. There you go. If you can get around this great job, Oh, he's taking some line. Great job, pal. Sun's not even up yet. This is actually kind of fun to play with. Ah, uh, we doubled. We doubled up. Got another rock going right there. Oh, he popped off. Let's work him back this way. See if we can get over here. Easy, 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 easy. Put him there. And that, number one. World record bass. Oh, there's a pile of them underneath us. There's a pile of fish down there. Now, I had a little bit of good intel that these fish were going to be biting at some point here during this time frame. I'd been out a few days earlier with a buddy of mine, Lee Huffman from Huffy's Guide Service. We went out on a little recon mission with his kids messing around one day, just trying to catch some fish, see what was going on. And uh, I figured I was going to pay Lake Norman another visit. Uh, it's just right up the road from me. And decided to drag my son along so he could do some reeling and I could do some filming. There you go. Watch, watch that right there. Yep, 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 yep. Good job, Grayson. Spotted bass. Lift him in here. Lift him in if you can. There you go. Cool, cool lift. Wow. Spotted bass, not what we're looking for, but they're going to keep. Are we able to lift? Yep, grab me. Try. Grab him hard, he'll go nuts. There. I don't want that hook to pop out. Smart, smart, smart. You, man. You got to own him. There you go. There we go. Good boy. Now, generally speaking, on Lake Norman and pretty much any lake that has stripers or hybrids, uh, usually the upper half of these lakes is where these fish are going to be in the spring. Uh, they're either spawning, staging up the spawn, or they're done. Uh, it just varies and depends on exactly when you're there in the spring and what's going on with the weather, what's going on with the water movement. So, generally speaking, the upper half to upper third of the lake is supposed to fish in these situations, and that's what we were doing on this trip. Make sure that drag's kind of loose on that thing. I don't know where it's set up at. Yeah, Ooh, loose drag. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> Watch that lid. That one there may go. Do you want to get that one? I'll slap it if I need to. Let's see what we do with this one. There we go. It's working. If you can bring him around. Okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna pop this one if he goes. I thought he was. Oh, double that. Oh, he popped off. Let's do this. Let's put. It. Alright. You close? Uh I think I just saw him. Yeah. Ooh, I can hit him. I'll be like I'll get a professional. Him. I need to go get the handle for this dead gun thing. I just had this because I grabbed it last minute. I don't even have my handle on my net. I'm dipping them like trout. There you go. 
see if you can get him to the outside. There you go. That's what I'm doing. Good job, good job. I barely saw him. He looks pretty nice. Oh, stay out of that line. Ah. Uh, Wait, he's out. He's out. Thank God. I mean, this is. A... That was a good. I know. This one that's good. That's a good one. Oh, come on, buddy. That's a good one. I don't want to stick the net down there. He's still too low. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. That's a pig right there, bud. That's a heck of a fish, pal. Hold on, he's barely hooked. Oh no, he's not. It's all the way through. Yeah. Cool. Oh wait, those are his nostrils. I... Okay, I, I... so I think it is a female. Is it? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, chuck him in there. Uh, we'll throw him just into the cooler because we're going to eat him. Alright. Now everybody always asks, well how deep were they? Well, I'll be honest with you, on this trip, uh, we caught them everywhere from about five feet of water down to about 30 feet of water. It was a wide range and it really depends on what the bait fish are doing. Uh, the bait fish kind of dictate where the fish are. You need to ride around, you need to do some looking. There is no magic combination on what's working. Uh, your sonar is your friend on these trips. Uh, you're gonna spend some time looking at it. And if you don't pull up on fish right away, you're gonna spend some time riding and driving trying to find fish to uh, basically start fishing on. So. Pay attention to your sonar. That's going to give you the clue at the magic depth to start fishing at. You got it? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Well, to answer the question as to whether they'll hit those shiners, that's a uh, yes. <laughs> There's a spot. Lift him up here. Oh, I got one feeling on that side. Oh, crazy. Let it out, buddy. I'm going to let him do his thing. I ain't getting a hook in my thumb today. Okay, stop spinning. There you go. Spot. Now, as always, wherever you're fishing for stripers or hybrid bass uh, in these lakes and impoundments, always check your regulations. Here in the South, these regulations vary greatly from lake to lake, from river to river, from state to state. So make sure you pay attention because generally speaking, during this spring kind of blitz of everything going on with stripers, uh, wildlife folks will be out there and uh, they love to hand you out a ticket when you don't follow the rules. Finally got one to eat. Why didn't I put the handle on that rock, on that net? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, shoot, we got another corner. Get this one netted. Get that down. While I was letting that one, we had another one go. This is where they're at. That one, buddy, that's an eater. Do you want me to get him with the net? This one. Hang on, let me see if I can get this one free. That way we go. Okay, Oh crap, we got another one. Shoot, there's ah. that one. That one's going one over there. Win a flurry, son. Hey, yeah. we're around this. Grab that net. We're in a McFlurry, Dad. We're in a McFlurry. There's another one, guys. Oh, Another one. I'm gonna put him in a live well. We may call him. Uh, is that one? That's fine. There he is. <laughs> I 
have a keeper. Holy crap. Oh, flurry of three, didn't we? Now, you can use cut bait in these situations. Uh, some days it does work better. Uh, on these particular trips, for whatever reason, maybe it was the cooler weather, we were doing better with live bait. Uh, I have fished up there and caught these fish on cut bait, uh, especially along points and humps. Uh, but on this particular trip and the day before this when I was up there fishing, this was the technique that was working. So you needed live bait and you needed a lot of it. Let me get some video. Put those down, put them down, put them down. Just hold them down. Just hold them down. Why the boat? That's the boat. <clears throat> Let's keep them down. <laughs> How you doing? Holy crap. That was a flurry, dude. I told you it didn't go from hero to zero in a. You mean zero to hero? Hero to zero, zero to hero, either way. <laughs> Also, those in the colder. We'll keep those two for sure. Now, generally speaking, in the springtime, especially as things start to warm up and you get temperature swings, uh, early morning seems to work better. Uh, late evening, right at sunset, also works really good. But that early morning, pre before the sun gets above the trees bite is usually the time to be out there and that's why we got out there so early listen even if you're not catching fish uh enjoying a beautiful sunrise on the water is not a bad way to start today right. hooked up Hi, we, lost we just lost one. one and now we're hooked up again hopefully it's the same fish Hey, that's my line. Oh, dang it. Hey. That's so much easier with that handle. It is so much easier. Cooler? Probably my four times. Good shot. Are you digging stripe for fishing? Yeah. Live bait and warm. Yeah. Chunk them in the cooler, we'll eat that one. Right. Now the great thing about fishing for stripers at this time of the year is that you can release them. Uh, later on in the year, as temperatures, water temperatures get higher and you get some of these oxygen depleted levels in the lake, uh, it can end up killing the fish. But during these times of the year, we were throwing back a lot of fish. The fish were just fine. So that springtime is a good time to catch a limit if you'd like to keep it. They are a put and take fish. Uh, but, you know, you can still fish, have fun, and release the ones you don't want to keep. Get them around the motor. Good job. Go. Hang on, let me move this rod so you can get by it. There you go. Man, he took it like that one that we lost. He get it like freight train, didn't he? Maybe a small fish, that's what's crazy. Oh, get out of there. Uh, ah, get away, get away, get away. That's the only thing I can't move that net quick. Come here, sucker. Oh, he flew right out of the net. Oh, left him in the boat. That? Uh, what the extras make the call? Now, if you're wondering the difference, a hybrid is a cross between a white bass and a pure strain striper. They had stocked stripers, uh, the pure strain, in Lake Norman for years, but due to the water temperature in the lower end of the lake, there was always a large die off of fish in August. So uh, they decided to start putting hybrid bass in there. They seemed to more, be more tolerant of these lower oxygen levels and uh, seem to survive better. And they're a very fun fish to catch. Another strop of bias. Where's my net? Lost the net. This here will be a two man limit. Hmm. 
My dad caught some off camera. Say, that almost ended badly. Yep. Getting out of the way, baby. Okay. Okay. What do you think about live bait? I think it's nice. It's, it's good, good action, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's there. Yeah. Live yep, well. He's a male. He's a male. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put my hand there today. Now, when we shot the video fishing on Lake Norman uh, on that May morning, uh, the limit at that time on the spotted bass was five bass, and uh, two of them could be any size. Um, since then, that rule has been changed and it's unlimited now. You can keep anything you catch. You're trying to knock down the population of the spotted bass because if you'll notice, all of them are basically about the same size and that's become a problem there. They're prolific breeders and uh, they're really just causing a lot of problems for the other fish that are in uh, the uh, black bass family like the largemouth. And uh, so they're trying to take them out. Again, uh, check your regulations uh, when you're up there fishing. That will probably change at some point, but here for the near future, uh, you can keep all you catch. Poof, one popped off, another popped on. Probably the same fish. You told me not to say that and I was about to say it and here you are. Let me, uh, That is so much easier with that handle, ain't it? It's so much easier with the handle. Boom, right behind you, right behind you, right behind you. Just got walloped. Right there he goes, there he goes. Take the fish. There we go. Got him. All right. Oh, that's a good one. Play with the Work him in slow. Let me deal with this fish. Get the rod out of your way. Up. We got a triple. Got a triple. Got one going over here too. Ha <laughs> ha! Reel on it a bit. Get that one hooked. Okay, get this one. Walk in back. All right. Get this rod. Give me some slack. Go and get this rod. Uh -oh. Nice, nice. Another one. Ooh. Good job. See if you can flip him out. There you go. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I can get it. I can get it. Trust me. This is good practice for Yeah, this is good practice. Catfishing. Ah, yeah. Got out of rods. Hey, that's a good one. That was a flurry right there, pal. That was a flurry of them. Jeez. All right, let's uh, we got a call on now. Mm. Oh, that is just what we needed. Folded it. Oh, we'll probably release him. Oh, he's in a layer free train. We got a bunch this size, though. Okay. He could be one that we release, and he's like, I'm free! Like a fifth dang eye. Uh, it's like that, yeah. 
Oh, is he around that line? Yep, hang on. Let's see if we can. Oh, he's a spot. Uh, Walk back this way. Look how I got him with your man there. Okay. Can I hold it? Can I hold it? Is he a big one? Decent. I know one thing. We're gonna get eat. Like Taylor said in one video, YouTube, there's more fish to catch if you can watch. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's funny. You thought I was making a reaction? I thought you were like, oh man, I love catching spots. I didn't realize there was actually a fish on. <laughs> Caught that uh, spot, and Grayson's over here talking about he loves catching them. Then he starts stumbling, and I'm thinking he's like goofing around, but he's got a fish. Pros do it, I think. You're gonna net him yourself? There you go. Ah, Walking back, there you go. <sighs> nice job. We'll let him go. It's a small one. I got him. You gonna handle it? Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, he's there. Oh, he's feisty. What you got? Spot. Striper? Spot? Okay. Barely hooked. There you go. Come on. Oh, he's so good. He's behind the drop. He's bait. Uh, he looked yeah, barely hooked. You got him? Yeah. Make sure. Let me don't... grab him or you grab him? I got him. Okay, pop that hook out. There we go. Another one for the cooler. I don't think he wanted to. Well, that's a decent drag, too. Oh, that. What do you think? It's rolling. It's a decent fish. Did you just stop it? Oh, no. Yeah, he feels pretty good. A catfish. Could be a catfish. <coughs> Corona. Um, this could be. If it's a striper. He's running off to the side, ain't he? Yeah, if it's a hybrid, it's a big one. Oh, crap. Gotta do the rock dance. Actually, actually, uh, okay, cool, yeah. I was gonna say, he may play to this side. Uh, keep him outside those lines if you can. You can ring, there you go. And bring him up to this end of the boat. You can let him fall, there you go. Now you can try to work him and fight him over here. I just saw him. There. Might be an upgrade for us. Right there. Boom. That's an upgrade. That is an upgrade there, pal. I feel like that's a cooler. <laughs> yeah, that's an upgrade. That's a good fish. Woo. I told you. Nice. I said, if that's a catfish, I said, if that's not a catfish, that's a big hybrid. Yes, sir. That's a good fish. <laughs> a lot of brothers in there. Oh, crap. Oh, we got another one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. I guess your camera's still rolling from the last one, ain't it? I think. Uh, yep. Nice job, dude. Got that net. Nice job. This one's feisty. God dang. Did you just come here? Oh, there we go. What did I just tell you? I said, as soon as I drop that bait, that one's probably going to get hit. There's a good little pot of fish down there. He 
You want Nettie? Yep. We've got a rod going behind you, too. Nice job. Push one back over here. Yeah, go put him right there. We'll let him go. Another one. We'll let him go. Crazy, crazy fishing. Ah, oh, crap. We got one. Two of them, two of them, two of them. There's one. Crap. They're both taking. Oh, God. They're both big. Yeah, there's two of them. Okay, one here. Uh, anyway, the net. Hang on, let me let this rod rest in the holder. Dealing with two of them, guys. I'll need him real quick. That will be easy. Go. Secure that rod and go ahead and get that. Just put that rod over here. There you go. Oh, it's hooking out. I might need a new battery after this. These two are ripping jet drag. Here's good. I'm gonna flip this one back, okay? Alright. Actually, let's do this. Let's get that one in and then we'll double check the size on them. Go ahead. I'll uh. Put him in the live well for now. Yeah, hold that. Amazing. This one looks bigger, I think. God dang. Hey, that is. Oh yeah, that's got to be that big one. That hurts. Could you hear it? No. I just heard drag. I am. Um, I heard some drag and I looked behind me and the rod's in the water. <laughs> Try it. I'm gonna try to do it like this. You work to your right a little bit. I get me around to get up here and get him out of the Telling you. Like, oh, I'll stay to the outside of that line. Right. There we go. Like this? It's too easy. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna challenge. Like, this is more fun. <laughs> Pulling like a freight train there, bud. Wait, what? Oh. I was so confused for a second. Great fish. There he is, guys. Number what, Grayson? 23? Yeah, 23. 23. One more away until we get what you caught yesterday. Get them back. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No. No, do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.